Hello guys, Brian Daniels here with The Domain, talking about the Halo Infinite multiplayer public test this past weekend. And man, oh man, it was a lot of fun to get right back in to some solid Halo multiplayer. And uh, before I talk about the actual gameplay experience itself, I want to talk about everything before and leading up to that. Now, this time around, Halo Infinite has a battle pass and the one thing that a lot of people uh, do not like myself included is the fact that the only way to gain experience points currently anyway is by completing challenges and now there are quite a lot of challenges to do it kind of makes getting kills or getting those medals in the game just kind of seem pointless you know getting like triple kills and kill tacklers and things like that you don't gain any experience for those things. It's just completing challenges. But I will say that because of the Battle Pass, there are a lot of various uh, armor sets and, and, and armor pieces to unlock. As you can see here, like this buckler, you can unlock for uh, getting a certain level on your Battle Pass. Um, battle Pass does go up to level 30. Um, and this past weekend, I was able to get to level 13. Um, but there are various, like, uh, color options available for your armor. There's even, uh, color options and sets for your weapons, as you can see here. Different colors for your visor, things like that. So, you're not gonna be without any, uh, armor customizations. I do also like the fact that you can even customize your vehicles and have different color options and sets for them as well. Um, there's also this thing called body and AI, and, um, you can decide how slim or not slim you want your character to be. You can also add prosthetics to your, uh, Spartan. You also have this thing called an AI, which you have four different, um, AI characters to choose from. They'll talk to you within the game and tell you how great of a job you're doing, which is kind of like having a ghost uh, from Destiny, for those that are familiar with that game. There are microtransactions in the game, uh, but those are only for just skins and things like that for your Spartan armor. Uh, I did not see anything that's going to give you a competitive advantage. It does have an academy option that gives you um, a, a training mode, and it also gives you the ability to uh, try out the various weapons in the game, which I really liked to kind of give you a, a better introduction to the weapons. Um, there were several uh, maps to choose from only in this weekend's beta. It's past weekend's beta. Um, you had Bazaar, Live Fire, and Recharge. These three maps have been available since the original technical preview of Halo Infinite, which started July 29th through August the 1st. And these are the same three maps we had access to this past weekend. But they also added a fourth map called Behemoth, which you're seeing here. And this is a very open, uh, huge map. And this was the only map that allowed us to use uh, the vehicles, such as the Mongoose, the Warhog, um, and etc. Now, this map was only a 4v4 map. I felt it was a little bit too big for 4-on-4, four four, um, but I did have fun playing it. Lots of towers for snipers to have access to and be able to play uh, those roles for those that are good with those weapons. Um, my favorite of all the maps, though, had to be Bazaar, just because of the layout of the map um some might say it was a very basic layout but for me personally i really enjoyed it very huge open area in the middle with two spawn points one on each side for uh, red and blue um one thing i will say about the gameplay though is that um they did we don't have the ridiculous shield bubbles anymore or or the, the jet packs or people flying around the map uh unlike what we had uh, in halo 5 for instance but now we've got more uh, traditional equipment, such as like a grappling hook, for instance, which allows you to um, not just 
grapple the walls and move around kind of like Spider-Man, but it also allows you to grapple other players. If you want to grapple uh, someone from behind and swoop in on them to get a, uh, a quick melee attack, you can. Or you can even use the grappling hook to pick up the power weapon, such as a rocket launcher and things of that nature. So it definitely helps for those distance players. Players also had the ability this past weekend to engage in various game types, such as Capture the Flag, as I mentioned earlier, Strongholds. There was even just a traditional um, uh, Team Slayer mode for those that really enjoy that the most, such as myself. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it was a fantastic experience, and I can't wait for next weekend uh, when we get big team battle, which I'm a huge fan of, and it'll be interesting to see how the servers respond to that many players at once since we were only able to do four on four matches, and after all, this is a beta test to test the server capabilities, so those are definitely going to get tested on this upcoming weekend's big team battle mode. Um, I will say that I mean, I, as much as I can sit here and tell you just how smooth this game is and how uh, easy it is to control and it just feels right, kind of has that classic Halo 2, um, Halo 3 gameplay, it, you really won't know until you play this yourself. And I'm excited for December 8th to get here because this is going to be uh, a multiplayer game I'm going to be hooked on and will absolutely be checking out for several, several months. And it'd be interesting to see what new maps they're going to add to Halo Infinite after the December 8th launch. And uh, to see what else we can get as far as, uh, uh, you know, unlocking different armor sets and things like that. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching another video here on the domain. If you like this video... You know what to do. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Tell me your thoughts about this past weekend's public beta test of Halo Infinite. Which maps did you like the most? What's your favorite weapons? Um, and other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit more uh, video here of the Hydraulic Dam level uh, recharge. But until next time... I'll see you guys.